Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm, and you all know Hillary. It's um, 12.51 in the morning, and uh, Brownie's having her piglets, so Hillary's been out here since 11 o'clock helping deliver them. Hillary woke me up at 11 o'clock to come out, and I fell back to sleep. So I came out a few minutes ago, <laughs> but Hillary's been uh, doing just fine as a midwife, I think. <laughs> I haven't really had to do much, just put them under the heat lamps. She's straining. Welcome to the world, little guy. It depends on the particular mom and the particular delivery, but pigs can take hours to deliver all their piglets. Four hours, more. Sometimes it's a half an hour between when she has each piglet. So this stretches out for quite a while. The only way you absolutely know that they're done having piglets is when they pass two sets of afterbirth. If they just pass one, it means that they may still have some more because the piglet's uterus, or the pig's uterus, has two horns, it splits like this. And you've got afterbirth on one side, or placenta on one side, placenta on the other side. So she has to pass one and two. And who knows when that'll happen? It might be four in the morning or so. What are you squealing about, little one? Get you guys rearranged, your little one. That is a little guy. You see those noses under there? Those are curious piglets next door. <laughs> hey, you little roaches. Oh, she just had another one. Hey, little guy. There we go. Let's get you out of there. I'm going to put you under here.
these two guys are getting dried off and more active underneath the heat lamps. Brownie's been at it for about two hours, maybe two and a half hours. When Hillary came out at 11, she'd had one. She's had nine so far. We haven't lost any, and these guys are all dry and thriving and doing well. So in this winter time, when it's cold out, it's important to get the piglets or be there when the piglets are born to warm them up until they get nice and dried off. and. And they're good. You can see we don't have a ton of bedding on the floor. I think there's two bales total in here. So we've had issues before with piglets being able to navigate well enough when there's not enough bedding. We had one terrible example where we layered the hay about that deep on the floor. The piglets burrowed down into the hay and they couldn't get around and mom wound up laying on a whole lot of them when that happened because when it's cold like this their tendency is to burrow themselves down into the hay but they just can't get around good enough to get out of the way when mom lays down or you know get up and out and get to nursing like they are here so we don't do that anymore we're very careful about the amount of bedding we put down on the floor one of these guys is dry enough to put on mom now He's nice and dry. Good sized piglet too. Last batch, her first litter, they were on the small side, but he's good. We'll put him on. He's right there. We'll watch him figure out how to get his first drink. They just creep along things till they find something they can suck on. <laughs> oh, he's getting there. There. Almost. You're almost there, buddy. Oh, you can't be under there. Mom's going to get you. This little guy keeps getting into trouble. Let's put you back here. Look at the size difference. This little guy, he's runty compared to the other guys. He's, look how much shorter he is. All right, we're going to put you over here, buddy. There's the little roaches in the pen next door. They never leave mom alone. You guys, you know it's the middle of the night. You should be letting your mom sleep. This little guy in here is making quite a racket. Well, he's going to find his own way out. I think he wants to go see mom. We'll get him out and put him in with mom, too. Okay. Are you ready to go see mom? Yeah. This thing hanging off here, of course, is the umbilical cord. And it'll just dry up and fall off on its own. We never mess with it. We just leave it on there. In a couple days, it'll be gone. It's a long process for mom. and She won't get much sleep for the first week. It's awful hard on him. Still nine. Mm -hmm. Here's what the cows are up to in the middle of the night. Getting a midnight snack. Yeah. Yeah. Mom says I've had enough of this. Eat red. We've had enough of this. Oh, eating afterbirth. That's always fun. Yum. She's passed one set of afterbirth, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. Huh. Yeah. That's what they're eating. On this farm, we recycle. <laughs> the <laughs> grittier side of farming. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. <laughs>
this little guy, he's a squealer. Are you a he? You're a he. That's definitely the run of the litter so far. You want a mug for the camera? Yeah. <laughs> we'll put you back under there. Here, you want a drink? I think she might be passing her second set of afterbirth already. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Huh. You've lost your way. I think she got it. Yeah, she did. Ugh. Man, that's nasty. Yep, yeah, this is life on a farm. Everything gets recycled in the animal world. Including after birth. <laughs> the runt who was making all the noise back under the heat lamps and it seems to have quieted them down. We just may need to warm up under here for a while. Take a snooze. It's very icky. <laughs> You're chastising Red. <laughs> Pigs will eat anything. <laughs> That's the highlight of our night, right? <laughs> oh, I can't believe she did that. Red, what were you thinking? She's like, it's fine caviar. <laughs> <laughs> well, she ate her own, so she might as well eat her neighbors, too, I guess. Put them all back under the heat lamp to warm up and see if they're going to conk out there or if they'll come back to mom. See if they settle down and nap. Hey, Ma. You did a good job, Brownie. You did a good job. You did. You seem to be settling down some. Sort of. <laughs> this new farrowing system we have with the closed off corner and the heat lamps works so well compared to what we used to do. And so far we haven't lost a piglet, although it's really early. It is not uncommon at all to lose at least one or two piglets just because they're pigs. That's what happens with litters. It's heartbreaking when you first start out raising pigs, but it's just what happens. It's very rare that you have a litter where all of them survive. We'll keep our fingers crossed, though. These guys are definitely conking out. Well, this guy's still up. You can join the pile. I'm not so sure there's very much else we can do here. Right? I, yeah. It looks to me like she's had them all and they're all safe and sound in there warming up and mom can hopefully get a little rest before they're back on her. You did the lion's share of the work though. <laughs> well, I snoozed in bed for an extra hour and a half. Oh, Red did, or uh, Brownie did most of the work. Yeah. <laughs> Even these guys seem to have quieted down. I guess they know the action's over. I think at this point she's wrapped up. As far as we can tell, she's passed both sets of afterbirth. Red ate them one by one, so it's all cleaned up. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to go back to bed. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not every day you get to see piglets born as they're being born. I'll see you next time. Peanut, you're always out, little miss. <laughs>